This lady called and I got her number. She owes 150. So, you know, the magic words, will you sell me for what you owe on it? And she, she writes back 150. I said, 150, what's that? She's like, that's how much I owe. And so she wants to move, has some repairs to be done to it. I said, well, how much repairs do you think that, that is needed? She said, 20K. It's worth, well, this is a Zestimate, Trulia, so it might not be real. When I looked at uh, Zillow for the sole comps in the area, it went as high as 289. She will, is willing to take 150, but she's like almost begging for some moving money. It's like maybe, I don't know how much she needs, 1,000, 1,500 bucks, something like that. So I'm, I'm thinking, how do I move this? Because I know I could get 75 cents on a dollar from one, one of those non-bank places um, of the ARV. And so if it's 27, I probably could get 170. Uh, take her out, fix up the house, and probably lease option it, you know, for if it's if the sole comps in the area are legit, maybe even you know lease option for two ninety nine. Sell it, sell, sell it, it, man. Get your cash, hey. Yeah. Get your cash. Yeah. Never, it never, never <clears throat> embed a ton of equity in a lease option deal or a whole deal. Okay. Don't right. don't and, do that. You're not using and, you take as much as you could possibly make by having that capital available for you to do the next deal. Right. Okay. Uh, the other thing, um, don't fix up a house if you're going to put a lease option tenant buyer in it. Because as soon as you rehab it and put a tenant in there, they're going to unrehab it for you. Right. Okay? Well, it's, you it's, don't want to leave your habitable. cash in it anyway. No, but it's not habitable because, uh, you know, she says the AC don't work. And I think uh, that's why she wants to move. I think the heat broke. And, um, I mean, she gave me a story about, you know, you know poor cash management with her ex. And all. I mean, a whole long yeah, story. Yeah, yeah. And so, you know, I'm like, but she wants out like yesterday. So the, the real question is, what is the ARV? Because that's yeah, going to determine what you do with this. Right. Thing. Now, uh, it, off the top, it says 227. But I, I want to dig deeper. It looks like it could be more than that. The sole comps right around the house says 289. So I, I know that might be a Zestimate, which is not accurate. Uh, but um, I really didn't dig deep into it. So I want to just send her... Uh, uh, you know, a contract. And also that's, it's close by. I was even thinking about sending my guy out because it's, it's, it's here in Maryland, right here. It's uh, mm -hmm. in um, Chesapeake Beach, Maryland, okay. not too far. And yeah. uh, I was going to send up, a, a, I guess, a, one of the contractors. I say, hey man, go, go, go uh, coordinate with her. Tell me how much it would take to fix this up. So I get a, a true sense of what it is. Now she says 20K, it might be just to make it hab habitable, it might be 10K, you know. Yeah. I yeah. don't know. So yeah. I'm looking at that and uh, there are a couple others just like that where, you know, I'm just, you know, like you said, um, I'm not even that much reading the script. I'm just telling people, Hey, look, what's your situation? And, you know, and, and, and digging on the pain, for example, uh, are you moving? You have two house payments. Wow. I remember when I had two house payments and, <laughs> and I just go down and all that, that, that stuff. And, and uh, so, you, you know, what happened with the realtor and, and realtor couldn't sell it. Well, why don't you get another realtor? you know, that kind of stuff. And they're, they're like, um, so far this week has been pretty good. Yeah. Oh, I love it, man. That sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let, let us know the numbers on that deal. Cause, uh, you may just like Don and Jim are, are typing in the chat, just wholesale it. I mean, right. that may be all you need to do. So it's really just going to depend, you know, we, we need all the facts. Right. Uh, before we can uh, evaluate it. And, and also to, um, now, like I said, I won't put too much time and money uh, into it, but if it's really worth 289, uh, you'd walk away from all that, that equity? Not just If it's worth it. 289 and it needed 20 grand, you better be fixing that up. Just hire a local contractor to go that, down there That's and what do I'm it. saying. So that, I'm, I'm like, let me double check the value. Yes. So if it's really 289, uh, wait a minute, let's, you know, let me, let me take value, take a, take a deed, you know, and, and, and don't give her uh, maybe walking money, right? I give her, you know, here's $1,500, go get another place, whatever. And I, I'm going to leave the, the loan in her name until I cash it out. So I'm going to come yeah. out of pocket. Right. Yeah. So you, exactly. you really, I mean, those are ideal wholesale situations, Hayden, because you don't have to come up with the 150. Right. Buying a house for the 20. I mean, your, your entire involvement is the 20 plus any monthly that you're making and the 1500 mover. Right, and then you got a chance to make over a hundred thousand dollars net. Well, do you, are you saying say a hundred? So sell it at retail for two eighty nine. Yeah, that's, fix it up. 
Spend fix the 20, up. really fix it up. Not, maybe 30 even. Fix it up nice. Nice, yeah. So that's what I was thinking. I, I, that's why I want to, you know, like I said, really get the, the true arm on this and then go from there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I just was doing the math and, you know, take 289, 90% uh, of that, and then deduct 30000 for repairs. I mean, you could be sitting on like an $80,000 payday right. after doing a, a, a quick fix-up. Right. That, so, yeah. Um, but I'll, I'll keep you up to date on that. Uh, but but uh, like Don and Jim, I'm going to go get the contract, number one, for what, what you owe on it. And then we'll yep. figure out repairs yep. and all that other stuff afterwards. Yep. Yes. That's step number one. That's great. Yeah. Okay. You can probably wholesale for around 20, make 20 on that deal, right. uh, roughly. But you, you're definitely in that range of about 80K profit if you do the work. Right. Okay. Thanks, guys. All right. Thanks a lot, Hayden. Thanks All for right. checking in, man. We'll get All you right. ready back here. Jeff, what would you do if it was 289? Would you wholesale it for 20 or no. put a little work into it and get the 80? I would just make sure what the days on market for the $289,000 house in that area are. Mm -hmm. You know, in some areas in, in Pittsburgh, a uh, $289,000 house can sit forever. Um, you know, but if it was, uh, you know, in Omaha, Nebraska, that's mid market and that thing would just go in a day or two. You know, it was in Florida, it would go in a minute. Yeah. So, um, you know, in Virginia is a good market if it's, especially if it's in the beltway or near the beltway. So I would, I, my gut is wholesale. I mean, not wholesale, but to uh, rehab it and sell it. Yeah. That's as much as it pains me to say I would rehab a property cause I can't stand doing them. Uh, I, I would probably go that same route. If there was an $80,000 payday in there, I would just bite the bullet and all right, let's, all right, I guess we got to fix this one up. You know, those bullets don't taste that bad when there's an 80K payday at the end of the road. Yeah. So, you, know, yeah. you, you can eat a lot of bullets. Yeah. 80K, I'll, I'll eat them if you don't want it. Anybody else doesn't want their deals like that, just send them my way. I'll, we'll take them. Yeah. <laughs> I, rem I remember uh, going to uh, Ron LeGrand's uh, rehabbing boot camp a long time ago. And he said, you know, while you're doing the rehab, it's kind of a pain in the butt if you don't have a good contractor. But look, you get all the way to the end and you get that check. You're going to sit there and look at it and you're going to think, eh, I guess it wasn't that hard, you know, <laughs> like, yeah. just do it, <laughs> you know. Yep. Oh, man. There is a direct and inverse correlation between the, the amount of struggle and the, and the size of the paycheck. So, you know, don't be, don't be worried if, it, if it's a yeah. huge paycheck on the one side. It may be a big struggle and a hassle on the front end, but it's still worth it. Yeah. Especially yeah. when you got these, you know, the little things coming in all the time that I say little, you know, making 10, 20,000 bucks on a, a lease option deal or subject to, yeah. you got those things in there feeding the kitty every day. Um, yeah. Then you go out and you do these rehab things and, and put that into your Roth IRA or something and, you know, retire at, uh, you know, 82 instead of 90 years old. <laughs> <laughs>